sit down. No, just sit. All right, that's fine. Sit down. No, no problem. You know, you know. Sit down. You know. Sit down. You know. Sit down. No, sit down. In today's eye-opening episode of U.S. Corrupt Cops, we delve deep into the gripping narrative of law enforcement officers whose lives take a dramatic turn. Join us as we explore the critical moment when corrupt cops come face to face with the devastating realization that their actions have obliterated their careers. This raw and compelling account sheds light on the consequences of corruption within the ranks of those sworn to uphold the law. Don't miss this powerful expose that uncovers the truth behind the shattered lives of those who once wore the badge with pride. Subscribe now for a riveting insight into the darker side of law enforcement. In a surprising turn of events as the suspect tried to escape, East Cleveland SWAT detective Joe Marche was discovered heavily intoxicated, slumped over the wheel of his car by Ohio police officers. I don't know, he's breathing. See if, it, see if the door's unlocked. All right, I can't tell if it's in gear or not. All right. Police! Open the window. Open the window. Sir, open the window. Marsh had locked the doors and was unwilling to get out of the car. Then all of a sudden, he does something you wouldn't expect from a detective. Open the window. Stop. Stop. Reach. Stop now. Can you open the door. I can't go to the switch yet. No, 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 no. 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 police department, up. stop. Put your hand Despite being locked inside, Marche refused to exit the vehicle. Unexpectedly, he exhibited behavior completely uncharacteristic of a detective. When finally handcuffed, a shocking discovery was made. A loaded MP7 automatic weapon was found in his police bag, along with personal items from his kit. The situation became even more alarming when it became clear that Marche was severely impaired mentally. Upon arrival at the station, to everyone's surprise, Marche had sobered up and realized the gravity of his situation. However, he was not willing to surrender without a fight. My name is Officer Trusso. You can call me Vince, okay? I'm OIC tonight. All right, I'm gonna uncuff you, Joe. No problems, right? Oh. Man to man. Excuse me. Uh, listen to me, man. Okay? I'll just stand up and I'll cuff you, okay? Contrary to what they would do to 99% of people, they uncuffed Joe as soon as he got to the station to later interrogate him further. You're being arrested for the OVI. You put my partners in a bad position, okay? Well, I shouldn't be arrested for anything. Listen. Well, you put them in a position. Then you start. Then you start resisting. I didn't okay. resist anything. Okay, listen. I didn't resist. All right. Anything. Well, what, this is what we're doing. We're having some of your teammates are coming to pick the car up and everything. Joe. Okay. Listen. All real, right. With due respect, sir. Listen to me. I'm gonna give you respect. All right. All right. Listen to Please me. Do. You're do. wasted. You sit down. Listen. Sit down. Sit down. Listen. Sit down, Joe. Hey, Joe. Let's sit that. down. Let's I know. That. That. Sit down. Astonishingly, unlike the protocol followed for 99% of individuals, 
the officers inexplicably uncuffed Marche upon reaching the station, intending to interrogate him further later on. This decision was not only dangerous, but also perplexing, considering the inherent risks associated with a drunk person in possession of a lethal weapon. Equally concerning was the fact that the officers had not confiscated the gun from him earlier. Drive around drunk and f***ing have my weapon on me? We shouldn't be able to do that, sir. On top of it, you have all your turnout gear, your kit in the back. And you fuck an MP7 in I the do. back. I do. Oh. Come on. Sir? I do. I'm not trying, no disrespect at all. I respect well, you. Know you. What? All right? Yeah, you, you, I get you were passed out on my it. side street. Runs all right? Away. Listen, we got your, some of your teammates are coming down to pick up your vehicle. We're going to process you, and then they're going to come here and pick you up. I need to ask you, was that your service weapon, or was that an off-duty? No, it's my, my service weapon. Your service weapon? So East Cleveland owns that? Yep. Okay. Hate to do this to you. I really I'm do. Not, I'm not doing anything. Oh, sit down. Sit down. I'm not doing sit down. Jump. All right, that's fine. Sit down. No, no problem. You know. You know. Sit down. You know. Sit down. You know. Joe, sit down, please. You know. Sit down. I do. I get it. But you, you put my teammates in a bad position. I, I get I don't want to put your guys in a bad position. Let's Joe, go. you were okay. passed out on the side of the street, sir. Okay. You were passed out no, over there. Listen. No, go ahead. No. Go ahead. You could talk. No, go ahead. You were passed out on the side of the street. My partner had a freaking knock on the window several times. You put it in park and went to drive away. And I know for a fact the way you're handling yourself right now, yeah. if this was EC and someone did that to you, you'd be doing the same thing, sir. You know what? You know I'm right. You know what? I'll right? tell you what. I'll tell you what. You're starting to smirk because you no, know I'm right. No, I'll tell you what. I probably would. I know. I, I know. Would. I probably would. But I would not jam up one of your guys. What am I supposed to do? You're jamming me up. I'm not jamming you up. Yes, you I'm are. I'm processing you yes. and having your teammates You're come and get you. Jamming me up, bro. I'm not You're jamming me up. Down. You're jamming me up. You put my guys in a bad position. You did. Oh, man. You did. Come on, you man. Did. You're not doing any of this? No. All right. I got to read you the form anyway, so just hold that. You run the receipt for me. I got you. Me. Nothing I can serious? do about it. I got to do my job, man. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you what. Do your job. But I'll tell you what. Come, come on the other side of the bridge. I'll do my job. We're on the same team, bro. Oh, that's that. Okay. Exactly. I got to look out for my teammates. Absolutely. I got to look out for my teammates. You understand me, Joe? Adding to the surreal nature of the situation, Detective Joe March had the audacity to threaten the officer asserting his authority within his jurisdiction as if he were some sort of mafia boss. Hey, you right me, dude. No, no, I'm not, I'm not okay. you. I'm, I don't want to do this, oh, man, I'm, but you... I'm, I'm, I'm threat. No, I'm threat. Listen, come on, I don't man. want to... Hopefully don't... there's cameras. Yes, there is cameras. Oh, thank goodness. All right? I'm not threatening okay. you at all. Despite having his driver's license suspended, Marche received only a 30-day suspension without pay. The question remains, is this punishment sufficient for an armed, intoxicated police officer? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video intriguing, be sure to watch our other content and subscribe to the U.S. Corrupt Cops YouTube channel. Goodbye.